Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all had a great Thanksgiving and thanks so much for clicking on this video. As you can see from the title, this is going to be a detox flow. So if you've ever taken a flow class from me in the studio, it's very similar, actually the exact same thing as that. So in fact, I think that this video is gonna be just about a full length one, probably close to an hour based on what I have um, with the ideas in my head. I feel like this is gonna be a full class. So buckle up, get ready to be on the mat with me for about an hour. Make sure you have your water bottle. We're gonna heat things up. No room to feel guilty. We're gonna leave that all in the past and come and be one with our breath today, okay? So if you've never taken a flow class with me before, or you haven't taken my uh, flow class that's on my YouTube channel already, the Body Mantra Method flow class links breath with movement similar to a vinyasa class. Right, so we call we call it a body mantra or a physical mantra or repetition of asana, where we link our breath with the movement that we're doing, and it'll make sense as we go along. So a couple of times for this class, we are going to be um, holding poses a little bit in the beginning, but then as the class goes on, we're going to pick up the pace, and you're really going to start to sweat, and it's going to be a physical sweat, like externally, but an internal sweat as well. We're gonna be doing a lot of twists. Twists are great, detoxifying for the body. Um, and that's really about it. So let's get started. Again, make sure you have a water if you wanna bring a towel or something, um, because we're definitely gonna sweat. All right, so let's start in a nice, comfortable seated position of your choice, whatever that is. And then just slowly close your eyes. I can't see you, so I'm just gonna trust that everyone's eyes are closed. And just place your hands about three finger widths below the belly button. And even if you're like, the last thing I wanna do right now is touch my belly. I'm feeling that a little bit today too, right? Let's just try to bring some light to our practice today. Don't bring any of those judgmental thoughts Right, because I know this is detoxifying, so we might be coming to this um, to try to feel less guilty. Whatever it is, just drop all those negative um, thoughts, all that negative self-talk, and see if you can dedicate the next 45 minutes to an hour to just focusing on one thing and one thing only, and that's the breath. Your inhales in and your exhales out. Everything else that enters the mind, just calmly acknowledge those thoughts. Yes, thank you very much, and let them go. And go right back to the breath. Perhaps at this moment, you want to choose some sort of intention or mantra or phrase that you can repeat when your mind starts bringing those negative thoughts in, or maybe they're not negative thoughts, maybe they're things that we have to get to this weekend, things that we have to do today, things that we didn't get to today, whatever they are, default mode in our brain is to overthink. So try to find a mantra or a phrase, or even if it's just the breath, to be your anchor in this practice. Anchor yourself in that phrase, so make it meaningful. For me, sometimes I don't even need a meaningful phrase. I'll just come back to my breath, I breathe in, and I breathe out. And that in and of itself is a mantra, right? Your breath is a mantra. You're gonna see that throughout our practice today, that we move with our breath. Just as you calmly begin to repeat that phrase or that breath to yourselves, I'm just gonna guide you through a little alignment work here so we make sure we're sitting up nice and tall. I want you to bring awareness to length in your body with your inhales. So on your inhale, feel your body lengthen, almost like you have a string coming out the top of the head and someone's pulling that string and lifting you up. And as you feel your spine lengthen, on your exhales, invite a little softness to your body. So feel the shoulders pressing down away from your ears. 
Feel the glutes soft on the mat. Make sure you're not clenching in your hands. You're not clenching in the face muscles, right? So soften the space in between the chin, and the, the space in between your eyebrows. Soften your jaw. Maybe even move your jaw around a little bit. Sometimes to tense certain places in your body when you release them, they naturally soften a little bit more. So maybe you do that to invite some softness in your body, whatever it is. Just inhale, feel length, and exhale, feel soft. So I wanna continue in that fashion for five more breaths, and then I promise we're gonna to start to move. I know it's a big ask, right, to sit down on your mat and just become soft right away. Sometimes that's the hardest part of yoga. It's not all those funky balancing poses and strength poses having to sit still and be with your thoughts, right? So just dedicate two more breaths here, and then I promise we're gonna to start to move. There's an aspect of just having to trust the process. Just trust. Put your trust in me, this random person on YouTube, right? But trust. Good. And then slowly, if you'd like, you can keep the eyes closed. Otherwise, now you can bat the eyelashes open and slowly let your hands fall side by side. And just invite a little movement that's natural to you back to your body. I like to just sway a little bit side to side. Small range of motion to start. So we're just taking a freestyle moment here to move your body in any way that it wants to express itself. I never like my yoga practice to feel mundane or boring, or like we're coming to the mat and doing the same thing time and time again. You always want to invite some childlike playfulness to it, right? So let your body write the script for you here. What does your body need in this moment? Just attend to it, not listening to what I'm saying, listening to what your body says. Attend to that for one more breath. Good. <clears throat> and then we'll come all the way back to center. Bring your hands all the way side by side. And then inhale, bring your arms all the way up overhead. And then exhale, just flutter the fingertips to bring them all the way down side by side. And we're gonna continue in that fashion. Inhale, bringing your arms all the way up overhead. And then exhale, just flutter the fingertips out side by side. Inhale, all the way in. Maybe you decide to bring your gaze up to it, so gaze up as you inhale. And then exhale, drop the gaze down, feel a big stretch in the back of the neck. Inhale, arms raise up overhead. And then exhale, flutter the fingertips as you come all the way down. Inhale. And exhale, let it all go as you inhale, bring your arms up. Just make sure your shoulders don't go all the way up towards your ears. And exhale, all the way down. Two more times before we change up the pattern. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, exhale. Good, now inhale, bring your arms all the way up overhead, and then on your exhale, take the outs your um, left hand to the outside of the right thigh, and then come take a twist to bring your gaze past your right shoulder. Now you wanna think turning from the torso, not moving your shoulder back, but spiraling from your torso, that's where you're gonna to start to get those really detoxifying effects from the, from the uh, asana. So inhale again, bring that length back in your spine. And then exhale, see if you can twist deeper from the torso. And one more time, inhale in. And exhale, twist a little bit deeper. And then inhale, bring your arms all the way back up overhead. Same thing, other side. Exhale, we twist to the other side. Again, inhale, feel length in your spine. And then exhale, twist. So one more time, inhale. Exhale, twist a little bit deeper. Now we're gonna link our breath with our movement, do the same thing, but a little bit faster. Inhale, arms raise up overhead. Exhale, twist. Ooh, I had a little crack. Inhale, arms up. 
Exhale, twist. Inhale, arms raise up overhead. And exhale, twist. So inhale on your lengthen. And then exhale, twist. Inhale up. And exhale, twist. So you guys keep going in that fashion. I just want to tell you, in that twist, right, you almost want to feel like you're bringing out a wet towel, right? And you're just letting go and releasing all of that negative energy, negative self-talk, whatever it is, just feel it leave the body like you're bringing something out. We're gonna go one more on each side. Awesome. Now we're gonna come into a Baddha Konasana butterfly pose. Soles the feet together. I'm gonna turn around so you can see what I'm doing. And just move a little bit side to side on the tush to find that nice cozy spot on your glutes. Right, so again, we're just making our practice fun. And here we go, inhale, bring length. And exhale, hinge from the hips to fold all the way down, reach down. And just hold here for a few breaths. We're gonna again, take it slow the first round and then start to move a little bit swifter. Now see here, where, where are you feeling this stretch right now? Common places, the hips, the glutes, the low back. See if you can inhale, and then exhale again, soften in those spots. Direct your energy towards the space that needs it. For me, my glutes are really tight, so I'm trying to exhale, create space in that area. Now we're gonna to start to move. Slide your hands all the way back on the inhale, lengthen, and then exhale, reach your hands back behind you, plant the feet on the floor, either lift your chest up here or if you can, lift your hips all the way up, little heart opener. And then exhale, place your tush back down, soles of the feet come back together. Inhale, raise your arms all the way up. Exhale, surrendering all the way back down to the earth. And then inhale, slide all the way back up, lengthen. Exhale, hands come back behind you. Lift your chest or your hips up. Exhale to slowly release all the way down. Soles of the feet come back together. Inhale, you rise. Exhale, trying to bring your heart down towards the earth. And then sliding your hands all the way back. So maybe each time, inhale, exhale, come back. Each time you come into that forward fold as you drop your tush down, soles of the feet together. So right here, as you exhale, fold, maybe each time you're able to get a little bit deeper. Two more times, inhale, arms raise up overhead. Exhale, hands come back to behind you, lift your chips up, breathing in, and exhale as you sink all the way back down, soles the feet together, inhale, we rise, and exhale, fold all the way forwards. Slide your hands back, inhale, arms raise up overhead, Exhale, hands come back behind you. Lift your tush up. Now this time with your hips lifted up nice and high, see maybe if you can extend one leg out. Extend the other leg out. Lift your hips up, coming into a reverse plank. One more big deep inhale. And then exhale to drop your tush down. Maybe you take a slight bend in your knees just so you don't hyperextend in the back of the legs. And inhale, raise your arms all the way up. And then exhale, hinge from the hips to try to reach your chest down towards your thighs as you fold forwards. And then inhale, arms come up overhead, bending and coming into a bolt position. If you need to, you can take your hands underneath the thighs. And then exhale, come all the way forward and back into your forward fold. So inhale, if you need the extra support when you come back into your bolt, your hands come underneath, and then exhale fluidly and swiftly all the way back forwards into your forward fold, wherever you are. Inhale, bow position, maybe you start to try to lift up your legs, and then exhale, sinking all the way back into your forward fold. Inhale, bolt. Exhale, fold. And again, same thing here, as you keep moving, inhale, 
exhale. So same thing, if you can get a little bit deeper into the position each time, inhale, exhale. We're gonna do that two more times before we start to switch up the pattern. Start to get deeper into the core and our twists. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, this bow position, we're gonna hold it here. Take your hands to heart center. Inhale here. Exhale, take a twist over to your right side. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, twist over to the left side. Inhale, all the way back up to center. Now, if you need to, you can place your heels down as we move. Exhale, twist. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist. Inhale, center. Now you guys keep moving in that direction and you wanna try to keep the hands together in prayer at the heart the whole time so you're not moving your hand over to the opposite side, but it's really your torso and your elbow there. So we're gonna do two more on each. That's one and one and two and two, and inhale, come all the way back up, drop the heels down, inhale your arms all the way up, and then exhale, fold all the way forwards. Now I'm just gonna slide forwards a little bit so I make sure I don't hit my tree. Exhale, fold all the way, all the way, all the way down, I'm sorry, inhale all the way down. <laughs> and then exhale, use your core strength to pull your body all the way forwards and through. So I'm sorry, I messed that up before. Inhale on the way down, like someone's punching your stomach, right? So you pull in as you lower all the way, all the way, all the way down. And then trying to keep the heels glued in towards the mat as you exhale, pull yourselves all the way forwards and through. Two more times. Inhale, slowly so you engage the abdominals as you come all the way down. And then exhale, coming all the way forwards and reaching through. Now last time, inhale as you come all the way down. Now this time we switch up the pattern. Exhale, you're gonna lift up and reach for your right leg, and then exhale, come all the way back down. Inhale, reach up, grab for your left, point the toes, and then exhale all the way down. Now if you need to, you can just crunch up and exhale down, or Lessen the intensity by bending the knee as you come up. So wherever you are, a few more rounds here. Inhale as you reach. Exhale as you come down. Inhale. Exhale. Two more on each side. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Last side. Inhale, exhale, come down, bend your elbows. We're gonna come into some yogi bicycles. Exhale, take your left elbow to your right knee, extend your left leg out. And then inhale, come back up to center. Exhale, twist, crunch, other side. And then inhale, all the way back to center. Exhale, twist, crunch, inhale, center. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale. So these are like mindful bicycles, right? Because we're taking that pause in the center. And sometimes, actually all the time, ab exercises are more effective when you go nice and slow and controlled. Two more on each side. Last time. Now inhale, hold it up, crunch. Exhale, tap your toes down to the floor. Inhale, crunch up. Exhale, tap down to the floor. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Four more. Last two, last one, and 
and then hug your knees all the way in towards your chest. Bring your forehead all the way up towards the knees. Inhale, big deep inhale. And then exhale, place your feet down, lift your arms all the way up, and lift your hips up into a bridge position. We're gonna do that a couple of times. So inhale, squeeze your knees all the way in. Bring your forehead up towards your knees. It's really good and nice and decompresses your spine. And then exhale, lift all the way up, bridge position. Inhale, hug, squeeze. Exhale, hips lift. Inhale. Exhale. One more time, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, hug it in. And just start to rock a little bit up and back. Just have some fun with it again. Just a nice way to massage your spine after that abdominal work. If, you, if your toes can touch all the way back to the floor when you come back, feel free to do that. And then whenever you're satisfied with this motion, you'll roll all the way up, cross the ankles, and come into your tabletop position. Hmm. All right. Sounds about like it's time for some cat cows, huh? Let's get right into it, making sure your wrists are in line with your shoulders, knees in line with your hips. Let's start to take some cat cows. Inhale, dropping the belly down, looking up. And exhale, round your spine. Inhale, drop the belly down, look up. Exhale, round your spine. Now, if you notice, I'm kind of adding a little fluidity in my cat cow. It's the same thing as I've been stating this whole time. I always like to keep my yoga practice nice and fresh. So I'm just adding some movement here. I'm having a good time. I'm hanging out. If you want to make your cat cow a little funky like mine, please feel free to join in with me. I'm just moving my hips a little bit side to side. I even like to walk my hands out a little bit further in front of me and draw some circles with my hips. And if it feels good, you can roll all the way forwards into a cobra and take it all the way back to a child's pose. Whatever, there's no rules here. Right? It's another time where you get to play. It's like yogi playtime. Where else do you get to play like this in your everyday life? Take advantage of this time on your mat where you can. I was gonna say, and no one's watching, but I don't know that for sure. Even if someone's watching, who cares? All right, three more breaths to play around. Good. And then everybody, we're gonna come back into a child's pose. And now on our inhale, Round the spine, roll all the way forwards into a cobra. Let your heart shine forwards. And then exhale, bend the elbows to come all the way down. Forehead kisses the mat. And then inhale, lift your chest up, breathe. Come up onto your knees. Walk your hands all the way towards the back mat. And then inhale, bring your arms all the way up overhead. Exhale, bring your hands to the lower back, we prepare. And then lean your heart forwards on your inhale, coming into a modified camel. And then exhale, place your left hand down, bring your right arm forwards and left leg back. And then sink back down into a child's pose. Inhale, round your spine, roll forwards into a cobra. Exhale, sink all the way down. Inhale, lift your chest up and walk all the way back. Keep inhaling, keep inhaling, keep inhaling as you bring your arms all the way up. And then on your exhale, place your hands to the lower back, prepare. And then next inhale, begin to bring your heart up towards the sky or the ceiling. And then exhale this time, your right hand is down, left arm forwards, right leg back, balancing tabletop. 
and then take it all the way back to your child's pose. We're gonna do that a few more times. Inhale, round your spine to come all the way forwards into Cobra. Exhale, sink all the way down. Inhale, lift your chest up. Still inhaling, still inhaling, walking back, walking back, arms up overhead. Exhale, place the hands down. Lift your chest all the way up on your inhale. And then exhale, right hand down. Excuse me, left hand down, right arm forward, left leg back. And keep exhaling as you come all the way back to child's pose. Inhale, round your spine, come forwards into cobra. Exhale, sink all the way down. Inhale, lift your chest up, breathe. Walk all the way back as you still continue inhaling. Bring your arms all the way up overhead. Exhale to place the hands down. Inhale, lift the chest up. Exhale, right hand down. Left arm forward, right leg back. And then still exhaling as you sink back child's pose. We're gonna do that one more time on each with a little flare added to it. Roll forwards into cobra. Exhale, sink down. Inhale, lift your chest up, breathe. Walk it all the way back. Roll all the way up, inhale. Exhale, place. Inhale, lift. And exhale, left hand down. Right arm forwards, left leg back. Inhale, exhale, crunch your knee all the way in towards your elbow. And then inhale, stretch everything all the way forwards. Exhale, crunch, feel the squeeze in your lower abdominals. And then inhale, bring it all the way out. Exhale, crunch, squeeze. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, crunch, squeeze. Inhale, two more times. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, hold it out, lengthen. Just add a little pump to your hand and your leg. Little pump, up, 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 up. Five, four, three, two, sink it back, child's pose. Inhale, round forwards. Exhale, lower down all the way. Inhale, lift your chest up, breathe. Walk all the way to the back of the mat. Bring your arms all the way up, inhale. Exhale, hands come to the lower back. Lift your chest up the last time. Exhale, right hand down, left arm forwards, right leg back. Big deep inhale. Exhale to bring the elbow to meet the knee. And then inhale, lengthen everything. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale. Two more. Last time. Exhale takes you all the way back, child's pose. And let's tuck the toes all the way under and walk our hands all the way to the back of the mat. And just grab opposite elbows here. And let your body hang nice and heavy for two breaths. Just letting gravity do the work for you here. You can almost imagine here, like any tension or thoughts that you still have running through your head right now are just pouring out of you from the crown of your head right here. Just let it all go. And then release your arms down. Slowly begin to roll yourself all the way up. Challenge yourself to go slower than you normally would. And when you come up, your head is the last thing to come up. And then do what you gotta do, like I just did. I gotta adjust my pants, move my clothes around a little bit. I like to kinda get a little crazy, move my hips a little bit side to side, loosen up my back a little bit, whatever it is, tend to it. Again, even if someone else is in the room, oh, who cares? All right, make your yoga practice your own. And then inhale, bring your arms all the way up overhead. 
exhale, bring the hands all the way to heart center. We're going to start to open up the shoulders a little bit before we come into some more flows. Inhale, bring the arms all the way out like you're opening your heart up and stretch your elbows back. And then exhale, just gather in all that energy, bring it all the way into heart center and drop your chin down towards your chest. Maybe you come back to that intention that you set in the beginning of class. And then inhale, bring your arms all the way up. Exhale, arms out to a T, slight bend in your knees as you fold all the way down. Drop your head down. Inhale, bring your hands right underneath the knees, bring your gaze straight ahead, pull your shoulders back and down away from your ears. And then exhale, slide all the way back down. Inhale, slowly roll up all the way. Bring your arms up overhead. We're gonna do that one more time. Exhale, place your hand, bring your hands back down to heart center. Inhale, open your arms all the way out. Bring your elbows back. Really feel a stretch in your chest. And then exhale, bring it all the way back into center. Hands come to heart center. Drop your head down. Big stretch in the back of the neck. And then inhale, both arms come all the way up overhead. Exhale, arms out to a T. Slight bend in the knees as you fold all the way back down. We're going to start coming into a classic body mantra flow. And here we go. This is your moving meditation for the day. Walk forwards into plank. And then once you're in your plank, drop your knees down and lower down all the way, keeping your elbows hugging in towards your rib cage. Inhale, lift your chest up, breathe. And exhale, sink all the way back down. Tuck your toes under, bend your knees, walk your hands all the way to the back of the mat. And slowly roll up. We're going to do that three more times. Inhale, bring your arms all the way up. Exhale, fold all the way down. Walk forwards into your plank position. Drop your knees down, lower down all the way. Inhale, lift your chest up, breathe. Exhale, sink back down. Tuck your toes under. Inhale, walk it all the way back and slowly roll up. Two more times. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold down, walk forwards. Drop your knees down, lower down all the way. Inhale, lift your chest up, breathe. Exhale, sink back down. Tuck your toes under, bend the knees, walk your hands all the way to the back of the mat and roll all the way up. I forgot if that was our last time or not, so we're gonna do one more for good luck anyway. Inhale, exhale, fold, walk it out. Drop your knees down, lower down all the way. Inhale, lift your chest up, breathe. Exhale, sink all the way back down. Tuck your toes under, bend the knees, walk back and roll all the way up. Inhale, arms raise up overhead. Exhale, fold all the way forwards. Now this time we're gonna walk forwards into a downward facing dog. So come back into a downward facing dog. And just take a moment here to pedal it out in your downward facing dog a little bit. Even though we're a decent amount of the way through the class, this is our first downward facing dog. So we can't expect it to be perfect Quite the contrary, actually, right? So just start to move and make this downward facing dog your own. And then on your exhale, see if you can start to drop the heels down a little bit lower towards the mat, even if it's just energetically. And in our downward facing dog here, I want to release even more energy and tension if we're holding any. We're going to take two big deep breaths in through the nose and let it out through the mouth. So just let energy leave, let tension leave with those exhales through the mouth. Here we go. One more time. Awesome. Now, bring your left foot in towards the center line of your yoga mat. And then inhale, lift your right leg all the way up into the air. And then exhale, squeeze your right knee all the way in towards your nose, upper body is in a plank. And then inhale, lift your leg all the way back up. 
Exhale, squeeze your right knee in towards the chest. And exhale, lift it all the way back up. Inhale, squeeze in. And this time, step your foot all the way up in between the hands, however you need to. And then walk your back toes back a little bit so that when you drop your back knee down, you're not on the kneecap. And then inhale, lifting up to your low lunge. And then exhale, take your hands to frame your foot. Pull your leg back, coming into a runner stretch. Now we're gonna go through this flow slow the first time and then we're gonna pick up the pace. So here's how it's going to work. Inhale, bring your right arm all the way up overhead. So you're in a twisted runner's lunge. And then exhale, place it back down. Inhale, lift your left arm all the way up, coming into a twisted runner's lunge. And then exhale, place your hand back down Bend back into your front knee, and then inhale, bring your arms all the way back up into a lunge. Exhale, hands down, straighten the front leg. Inhale, right arm up. Exhale, place it down. Inhale, left arm up. Exhale, place it down. Bend. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands down. Straighten. Inhale, right arm up, exhale down. Inhale, left arm up, exhale, place it down and bend. Inhale, arms up, exhale, hands down, straighten. Inhale, right arm up, exhale, place it down. Inhale, left arm up, exhale, place it down, bend. Last time, inhale, arms raise up overhead. Exhale, hands down. Straighten the front leg. Inhale, left arm up. Exhale. Sorry, right arm up. Exhale, place it down. Inhale, left arm up. Exhale, place it down. Bend back into the front knee. Inhale, bring your arms up overhead. Exhale, place your hands down. Tuck the back toes under. Step back into a plank position. Drop your knees down. Lower down all the way. Inhale, lift your chest up, breathe. Exhale, sink back down. Tuck your toes under, bend the knees, walk your hands all the way to the back of the mat. And roll all the way up. Inhale, your arms up. Exhale, fold all the way down. Walk back into your downward facing dog. Right away, we're gonna get into it. Bring your right foot into the center line of the mat. And then this time, lift your left leg up. Exhale, squeeze your knee in towards your nose, upper body and plank. Inhale, lift your leg all the way back up. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, lift. Last time, exhale, squeeze. This time, step it up in between hands. Walk your back toes back, so when you drop your back knee down, you're not on the kneecap. Inhale, bring your arms all the way up overhead. Here we go. Exhale, place the hands down. Straighten the front leg. Inhale, right arm up. Exhale, place it down. Inhale, left arm up. Exhale, place it down. Bend. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, down, straighten. Inhale, right arm. Exhale, down. Inhale, left arm. Exhale, down, and bend. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands down, and straighten. Inhale, right arm. Exhale, down. Inhale, left arm, exhale, down, and bend. Inhale, arms up, exhale, hands down, last time straighten. Inhale, right arm, exhale, down. Inhale, left arm, exhale, down. Bend, inhale, arms up, 
Exhale, hands down. Tuck the back toes under. Step your back foot back. Plank position. Drop your knees down. Lower down all the way. Inhale, lift your chest up, breathe. Exhale, sink all the way back down. Tuck your toes under. Bend the knees. Walk all the way to the back of the mat. And roll all the way up. Inhale, arms come all the way up overhead. Exhale, bend the knees, roll down. We're gonna come back into a downward facing dog position. Okay? And this time, left foot comes into the center line of the mat, and we lift our right leg all the way up. Exhale, squeeze your knee in towards your nose, and then try to tap your right knee to your left elbow. And then inhale in and lift all the way up. Exhale, bring it in towards the nose and then see if you can tap the right elbow. Bring it all the way back in and lift it up. Exhale, squeeze your knee in towards your nose and then step your foot all the way up in between the hands. Now this time, keep your back knee lifted up and get your balance together and then inhale, we rise up into a high lunge. Okay. Now inhale up, we're coming into a twisted lunge. Exhale, place your hands to heart center and take the outside, sorry, your left arm to the inside of your right leg to come into a twisted lunge. And then inhale, hands come back to the chest. Raise your arms all the way up. Exhale, hands come back down. Twist over the right leg. And then inhale, center and lift. So keep going, exhaling into your twist. And then inhaling, lifting up. You're gonna do three more. Now if balance is an issue here, you can always drop your back knee down, and that will help with your balance. Two more times. Okay, on your last one, you're gonna hold it on your twist, okay? Now trust yourself, don't think, just do what I say. See if you can step your left foot up to meet your right and come into a twisted chair, whoa. And then drop your tush down. And then inhale, bring your hands to heart center so you're just in a regular chair position. And then rise all the way up. Here's where that heat starts to come. Exhale, sink down, twist over to the left. Inhale, center, and rise. Exhale, down, twist to the right, Inhale, center, and lift. Exhale, down, twist to the left, come center, rise up. One more in each. Exhale, down, and twist, center, and lift. Last side, down, twist, center, raise all the way up. Now exhale, Fold down all the way. Step back into a plank position. Drop your knees down, lower down all the way. Inhale, lift your chest up, breathe. And then exhale, place your forearms down, come into a forearm plank. So the sequence is inhale, cobra. Exhale, forearm plank. Inhale. Cobra, exhale, forearm plank. Now if you need to, you can take these forearm planks on your knees. So come up into a forearm plank here. Otherwise, continue with full forearm planks. Three more. Last time. This time you're gonna hold 
hold your forearm plank. Exhale, tap your knees down. Inhale, lift them up. Exhale, tap. Inhale, lift. Exhale, tap. Inhale, lift for five. Up, four, up, three, up, two, up. Last time, hold your forearm plank for 10 breaths. If at any time you need to drop your knees down, drop your knees down. Otherwise, we stay strong here. Five more breaths. Good. Drop your knees down. Walk your hands all the way to the back of the mat. And slowly just hang out at the back of the mat. Reset in a forward fold. Just grabbing opposite elbows and letting your body hang. Good, and then everybody, slowly roll all the way up. And we're gonna do that on the other side. Here we go. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold all the way down. Walk forwards into downward facing dog. And then this time, we lift up our left leg. Inhale. Exhale, squeeze the knee in towards the nose. See if you can tap left knee to right elbow. All the way back into center and lift up. Exhale, squeeze in. Tap the left elbow. Center and lift. Exhale, squeeze all the way in. This time, step your foot all the way up in between the hands. Keep your back knee lifted up and slow and controlled, lift yourselves all the way up to your high lunge or keep it in your low lunge if balance is an issue. All right, exhale, hands to heart center, twist over the left leg. And then inhale, center, arms up. Exhale, down, twist, inhale, center, and lift. Exhale, twisting over that leg, and the whole time, as you guys keep moving, I'm talking, the whole time you wanna try to keep your knee bent, but not bent so much that it goes past the toes. Two more times, we twist, Ooh. <laughs> Last time, we hold the twist now. And again, don't think, don't judge. Just step up, drop the twist down. You're in a twisted lunge on the left side. And then we inhale, center, and lift. Exhale, down, and twist to the right side. Inhale, center, and lift. Exhale, down, and twist. Center, and lift, three more. And inhale. Okay, we're gonna do one more on each side. Down, and twist. Inhale, center, and lift. Last side, down, Twist, center, and lift. All right, exhale, fold all the way down. Step back into a plank position. Drop your knees down, lower down all the way. Now this time, inhale, lift up to cobra. Exhale, come back down. Now we're gonna switch up the pattern. On your inhale, you're gonna lift up to plank and shift over into a side plank with your left foot on the mat and right arm up. And then exhale, back into plank, drop your knees down, lower down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, back down. Inhale, plank. Side plank on the other side. Exhale, back into plank. 
Drop your knees down, lower down. Inhale, chest lifts, breathe. Exhale, sink back down. Inhale, lift up plank, side plank. Exhale, plank, knees down, lower down. Inhale, chest lifts, breathe. Exhale, sink back down. Tuck the toes under, press up plank, inhale. Side plank, back round into plank. Drop the knees down, lower down all the way. One more on each side, inhale, chest lifts, breathe. Exhale, sink back down. Inhale, press up to plank. Side plank one side, back into plank. Drop your knees down, lower down all the way. Last side. Inhale, chest lifts, breathe. Exhale, sink down. Inhale, press up to plank. Side plank over to one side. Exhale, all the way back around plank. Drop your knees down, lower down all the way. Inhale, lift your chest up, breathe. Exhale, sink all the way down. Tuck your toes under, bend the knees, walk your hands all the way to the back of the mat. And slowly roll all the way up. All right, we're coming into the end of this flow. So we're saving the super balancing one for last. So let's start by stepping our left foot forwards. So we're headed into Actually, I'm sorry, let's start by stepping our right foot forwards. We're headed into a warrior two. So step your right foot forwards and then turn out your left foot and try to take your hips and move them towards the side of the room, okay? And bend, keep a nice generous bend in that right knee. And then open out your arms like someone's pulling you in opposite directions. Okay, so. We're going to inhale, come into a reverse warrior two, and then here's the challenge. Exhale, drop your right hand down slightly in front of your right toes, and then see if you can pick up your left leg to come into a half move. And then step all the way back, Inhale, you come back into your reverse warrior two. Don't lose that bend in the front knee. And then exhale, come forwards into your variation of your half moon. We're gonna do that three more times. Inhale, reverse warrior two. Exhale, half moon. Inhale. Exhale. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, take it back to reverse. Exhale, warrior two. Take your hands to your hips. Pivot so both toes are face straight ahead. And we're just gonna move right in to do those on the other side. So now your left toes are forward, so we're just in a warrior two, facing the opposite direction. So we're gonna do those same flows on the other side. So open up into your warrior two. Inhale, come up into your reverse warrior. Exhale, place your left hand down in front of your left toes. Lift your back leg up. And then exhale, place it back down. Left arm comes all the way back up, reverse warrior. And then place your hand down, inhale, leg up. Exhale, place it back down. I'm sorry, inhale, place it back down. Ugh. And then exhale, come forwards. Inhale, two more times. Exhale. Inhale. Last time, exhale. Inhale. 
Exhale, back into your warrior two. Hands come onto the hips. Toes come straight ahead. Now we're gonna do a little detoxifying breath, again, to clear you of all the tension that's still in the body. All right, and then we're gonna start to head down to our mat to cool down. So in a nice wide stance, actually a little bit wider than hip width distance apart will work. You're gonna take a breath in, almost like you're giving someone a bear hug, one short breath, and then reach your arms up overhead, another short breath, and then bring your heels up, another short breath, and then exhale, bend your knees in with a nice forceful, you bring your hands back behind you like you're just clearing the energy. All right, so it'll make sense as we keep going. So just follow along with me, it's. Three more. Sway back to the body, feel free to. We're officially into cool down mode now. Yay, we made it through. Hopefully feeling a little lighter and softer on yourself than when you first came to the mat. Good, and then slowly begin to heel toe the feet in together. A little bit more. We're gonna sink down into a yogi malasana squat. Okay, even if you're all the way up here, that's okay, wherever your yogi squat is, okay? And then try to bring the elbows in to press in to open the knees out a little bit more if you can. And then just placing one hand behind you, other hand behind you, and gently placing the tush all the way down. Oh, we made it, we landed back onto the mat. We made it through. Place the heels down, scoot your butt up all the way towards the front of the mat. And nice and slow, begin to roll yourselves all the way down. And then once you're there, bring your knees all the way back in towards the chest. And rock from side to side again. Really just highlighting the fact that you're hugging your knees in towards your chest. You're giving yourselves a hug right now. And it's not easy to get through that whole video. Throughout that class, and I'm sure there were a million times where you had temptations to click out of that video, but you didn't. And if no one else in your life or you yourself don't acknowledge that, just know that I do. Open up into a happy baby. Keep rocking if that feels good. And then just hugging your right knee in towards your chest, extending your left leg all the way out. Taking your right knee all the way across the body into a spinal twist. And then hugging it all the way back in. Squeeze your forehead up towards the knee. And then come to bring your left knee in towards the chest, extend your right leg all the way out. And take your left knee across the body into a spinal twist. And then hug your knee back in towards the chest, squeeze your forehead up towards the knee. And then taking any last final movements that your body craves, before we come into our final resting posture, and you got this far in the video, don't click out yet. Finish the practice, complete the practice. Come into your Shavasana. And again, I, I ask you to place your hands 
three finger widths below the belly button. And what thoughts are coming up into your head now? How do you feel now compared to when you first sat down and committed yourself to this practice? I hope that you all hit the pause button on this video and hit the pause button in your life and really take a few moments to sit here before you go back and about your day. And if not, no worries, I get it. Thank you so much for dedicating this time with me. And I hope you have a great day, great night, whatever it is for you now. And namaste, I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.